Hello and welcome to another exciting example question. So today I'm going to talk about calculating the uniform ULS and SLS snow loads acting on a roof. So this is one's all about snow loads. Now, in this problem, the building is categorized as normal importance and is located in an area not exposed to wind in North Bay, Ontario. The roof is flat and has no parapet or obstructions. Show all calculations and units. So basically here, you're going to have to have your part four structural design of the National Building Code of Canada or whatever place you're using yours from and a chart, a weather chart explaining what the weather is likely to be in that area. It looks like this. This one's for Ontario. So now, I uh, kind of drew up the equations already. So if we we're gonna go to our building code, so for this specific case, we're gonna go to section 4.16, loads due to snow and rain. So now if we're to look at that, Right here, we get this equation here, which is this one right there. So now what this equation is, this is the S is snow load. ULS is the ultimate limit states uh, equals the I, which is the importance factor of the snow load of the ultimate limit state. Uh, SS is the uh, snow, um, snow load snow, we'll say. Then we get CB, or I guess CR, I might as well go like this. CS is snow, CR is rain. CB is the basic roof snow uh, in this class that I took, I guess. Uh, the answer for this one is always going to be 0 0.8. It's a unitless. CW is the wind load. CS is the slope factor of the roof. And CA is the shape factor. That one's always going to be one. And the I and the I are going to be your importance factors. So now if we go back to our question, we're going to look at it here. Now the building is categorized as normal importance. So since it's normal importance, we're going to go back to our building code. We're going to go just low to this importance category, normal importance, ULS is going to be 1, and SLS is going to be 0 0.9. So ULS is going to be 1, and SLS is going to, uh, yeah, SLS is going to be 0 0.9. Now we're going to go to our SS and our SR. So that's going to be found on our tables here. So we're going to look here to snow load, which is what we're doing. We got SS and SR. I don't know if you can see that very well. And we got basically the amount in kilopascals. So we're going to go to North Bay and then we're going to come across all the way down here. So we got 2.2 for snow load and 0 0.4 for rain load. So snow load is 2.2 kilopascals and rain is 0 0.4 kilopascals. Now we're going to see CW is the wind load. And according to our problem, this wind load here is located in an area not exposed to wind. Okay, so basically what that means is because it's not exposed to wind, if you have a building, we'll say my calculator here, if there was wind, and we'll say that my pen is snow, the wind would blow it off, or you'd hope. The more wind, the less snow is going to be on your roof. So you can actually lower your coefficient. So in this case, it's not exposed to wind. So that means it's just going to pile and pile and pile on. So what we're going to say for that, we're going to use our coefficient of 0 0.1. Because you want the biggest coefficient to take this. The more of these that are 1, the stronger, the, the stronger your roof is going to be, more or less. Now, CS is your shape factor, which is basically what your roof looks like. And according to this, it says it's a flat roof. So if it's flat, your coefficient is going to be 1. 
So it's going to take the most load. So now we have everything here. So now all we got to do is just punch it in and then we'll get the right numbers, hopefully. So ISLS is going to be 1.0. Multiply that by SS is 2.2 kilopascals. Don't forget, put your units in. We're going to multiply that by 0.8, 1.0. One point zero, one point zero, and we're gonna plus that by zero point four kilopascals, and we're gonna close that off. Now that answer gives me. I already did it in my calculator. Uh, let's go with three sig figs. Why not? One point or er, two point one six two. 0.16 kilopascals. That's for your ULS. Now for your SLS, if you didn't, uh, ULS is basically your factored loads, whereas SLS is non-factored loads. And uh, sorry, and ULS is your live live loads. So our SLS is our. I could have said that wrong. Ignore that. I don't remember. Okay, but we're just going to finish this off here. So I is 0 0.9. So here's a little fun thing. If we're looking at this equation here, this equation here is actually the exact same as this equation up here. So the only thing that changes is actually this variable. So you can actually just substitute this right there. 2.16 kilopascals and that's going to equal 1.94 kilopascals and there you are there's your s your ULS snow loads and your SLS snow loads for North Bay on this specific roof